put a line on. Then we're going to get uh, a saw, just an ordinary tenon saw. Oh, not bad. This is throwing me. Go on, get on. I'm on. This is throwing me. This is being watched. Right. There's your tube, look. Now, I'm going to give it a little bit more than a sixteenth of an inch. I'm going to cut it there. Right. And I'm going to mark one here. Cut that bad bit out there, look. Mm -hmm. So that could cause us some problems. Okay. Brilliant. I'm going to square them off with that so we know where we're sawing. You're getting that. Fantastic. Yeah, it would pigeons. Mm -hmm. Right, this is the cheapest way of storing. Just put it on there, like that. And actually, you can use a clamp like that. And just clamp it to like that. Just hold it a bit there. Then you put your saw in, mm -hmm. like that. I'm holding it up against this piece of wood, look. So you get a reason of this square cut. the other one. Put the uh, clamp on, dead on the line. See if we can get it to same again. Same again. Friends in Mali, skill of pen making. <laughs> All right. We might not come out with uh, fancy pens like yours, but we will try and yeah. do something uh, with uh, this wonderful talent of yours. They will be lovely pens. I just know it. Right. So we've got the two blocks, not exactly the same side, it doesn't matter, because we're going to mill them later on. Right, so we've got those lines, that's where we, if you, well, if you look, we can see that that's the way it should go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a couple of little dashes across there. So that we know that that's the middle of the pen. Mm -hmm. That's the way we're going to have it. Perfect. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Put this onto the vise. Put that on one side. Get get your pen blank. Mm -hmm. Put it in the vise. Like that, so it's nice and solid. So don't burn yourself on that fire. You can either you you can use a rule or a square, it doesn't matter. You just want to put a centre mark on there. One. Two. That's one done. Same with the next one. And the vice, nice and solid. One, two. Right, then we move across to the uh, pillar drill. I'm going to use this little clamp. Line it up so it looks roughly square in the middle of the vise. 
like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to check that it's square. I'm holding that on the top of the vise. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hold it up to there, and it's quite square. In it isn't. Yeah. Uh, out of line in the yeah. vise. Understand. Same on that side. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Make sure the vise is tight. Now then, I'll lift that up. But if I'm doing this so that I'm because I'm showing you, but really, the guard should be down like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to lift the bed up so that it's nearer to the drill. Right? Mm -hmm. And then lock it off. Just a bit more, I think. Lock it off there, and I'm going to move this little vice round till I get there. The point, can you come yeah, in a bit I can closer, see it right in. on the drill, wants yeah. to go dead in the centre. So you've got a chance now to line it up nice. And yeah, you've got it perfect. Is that now? Yeah. And I'll make a little prick there, look. Yeah. See? Yep. And if you look around, that looks about even. Yep. So I'll switch the drill out. Leave it a few minutes just to... Just a few seconds just yeah. to warm up so it gets to optimum running speed. And then just pull your drill down. No need to push it really hard. See it's getting, you can yeah. see dust and a little yeah. bit of smoke there. Yeah. Let it clear a bit. I'm going to switch off